Aussies have been through a lot in 2022, from COVID-19 outbreaks to extreme weather events and devastating floods, it's been a wild ride. And now as spring approaches, the renewed threat of magpie swooping season looms. The recognizable black and white bird are notoriously territorial when their young are nearby. Here's everything you need to know about the upcoming magpie season and your concerns about falling victim to an attack. Read more, Magpies Out with Aussie Scientists by helping each other when is magpie swooping season? September is peak magpie swooping season. However, the birds typically nest from July to December and have been known to swoop then too. Magpies tend to swoop for about six weeks as their mate incubates eggs and while the chicks are very young. That might seem like a long time to avoid being dive-bombed in your own backyard, but there'll be plenty of sunshine left to enjoy after it's over, usually sometime in November. And if you do encounter an aggressive magpie, make sure you know the spot, as they like to return to the same nesting areas each year. Who is most at risk of being swooped by a magpie? Anyone perceived as a threat to a magpie's young is at risk of being swooped. But, interestingly the Australian Academy of Science said only 10% of male magpies will swoop and 8 out of 10 people living in magpie territory will never get swooped. Even rarer are attacks designed to wound rather than intimidate. Bad news for cyclists though, magpies are almost certain to react to anything that large and fast moving as if it's a predator. If you're not willing to walk your bike through the swoopers territory, then definitely stock up on those googly eyes as making eye contact is known to deter them. Experts say that in many cases, magpies who swoop had often been provoked in previous seasons and overall, it's really better to try to make friends. How common are attacks? While it's probably no comfort for people who have a territorial magpie on their block, swooping is actually quite rare. There have been 517 attacks across the country this year to date, according to Magpie Alert. However, only 57 of those were reported to result in injuries. People are not often wounded when swooped from behind but a head-on attack can inflict horrific injuries, including eye damage. But there are ways to mitigate the risk. How can I avoid being swooped by a magpie? The easiest way to avoid being swooped is just to simply change your walking route if you know there are nesting magpies living there. Magpies will only defend the territory within 50 meters of the nest. Granted, in a leafy suburb, that might add a few streets to your walk. Basic prevention tactics include carrying an open umbrella, or wearing sunglasses and a broad-brimmed hat. It's also safer to travel in groups, as magpies prefer to swoop on lone people. If you can spot where the nest is, be sure to move away from it, but not too quickly. It's also important to remember that the magpies only act on instinct and experts have said parents should make sure their children were magpie aware, with resources on the Parks and Wildlife website. Do magpies remember faces? Another option may go against your best instincts but getting closer to the birds may actually help you avoid an attack. Specifically, befriending them. Magpies, like their corvid cousin crows, are clever birds and remember over 30 human faces, science suggests. If you are persistently calm and don't respond to swooping with anything that might be perceived as a threat, such as waving your arms, a stick or an umbrella, the magpies will often swiftly learn you don't pose a danger. If you are concerned, you can track where notorious birds are attacking at Magpie Alert.